welcome back. So in today's video, yes, we're talking about fall again. I'm getting some of my fall DIYs done and I'm going ahead and present these videos. So maybe if it's something you want to do, you can start it now and be ready to decorate full on when fall season gets here. I'm so excited for fall. It's my absolute favorite time of the year. So enough of that. Anyway, so in this video, I have picked up two of those little bird houses from Dollar Tree in this Crafter Square section and they are so cute. I love them. And I was thinking, what could I do with these little bird houses? And I have come up with two different options. And of course, I'm gonna be using these on my tier tray. So they're the perfect size for that. So that's what this video is. I'm gonna show you what I did with these cute little Dollar Tree bird houses. And I don't think anyone would know that they come from the Dollar Tree. Just my opinion, but you'll have to let me know what you think. So let's get started. Okay, for our first little uh, birdhouse, this is one of the versions they have, and we are going to peel off the sticker on the bottom, and I was trying to figure out what to do, and I thought, what says fall like candy corn? I love candy corn. I think it's so fun, and so we're just going to paint our silhouette like a piece of candy corn. So we're going to paint the body of it this white cream color. It was some I already had out, so I just used it, and then we're going to paint that lower section of the roof. We're going to give it... Um, a nice coat of orange and I will admit y'all I had to look up candy corn to make sure I had it right but yeah we're gonna give this orange and we're I mean paint this orange and we're just gonna make sure we cover you know the bottom sides all that and then the top yellow of course we're gonna get that covered and then once we cover that I go in I don't think I show it but I go in and I paint the base of it a brown color and also that little what's it called a perch the peg I don't know We'll call it a perch. I also paint that brown. And then I do take my brown and paint inside of the little hole. Just, you don't have to, but I did. And that's what it looks like. But I wanted to do a little extra, so I printed out the word sweet from my Silhouette Cameo. I decided that I would print that out and put it on there. And y'all, this was tedious, printing out something that small and then getting it on there but I think it was well worth it in the end. I think it just added a little extra touch to it, but you'll have to let me know what you think. There it is. Now this little birdhouse is a little bit different as you can see, and we're gonna take that little, what we're calling a perch off. We're just gonna take it and put it to the side, but don't throw it away because we will need it. And then we're gonna paint the whole thing. I'm using this truffle by Waverly, but you can use whatever color you want. This is just what I did. And it doesn't have to be perfect because we are gonna be covering it up, but I just wanted it as a base. Now the scrapbook paper, I got one sheet each from one of my books I just recently got, and then this polka dot I already had, and I love it. So we're gonna use it because to me it just screams fall. So I take my little birdhouse, and we're gonna do the roof in this like wood plank look. So I'm just putting it on there and just kind of pressing it down to get the outline of the roof. And then we'll cut that out. This is just the easiest way I figured out. Once we cut that out, I'm gonna make sure it does fit it fairly well. And then we will use it as a template to cut the other side. I'm just checking and it fits great. So now we're gonna do the body of it, the front and the back, we're gonna use this orange. And I just kinda like creased it with my fingers and go in there and cut, crease, cut, you know, till you can kinda get it. It doesn't have to be perfect, y'all. This is a very forgiving little project. It does not have to be perfect. And once I have that, I just double check that it fits the back and then I use it as a template for my back, draw it out, and then I'm gonna cut that out with my scissors. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. This was really fun, and y'all, this was just so relaxing to me. I know it might seem a little tedious, but I just got in there and just kind of played and just relaxing. So for the sides of it, we're gonna use this orange. It looks like linen, and I just um, did the same thing to kind of get the fit. So now we're gonna use our Mod Podge, and we're just gonna Mod Podge everything on there where it goes. So if you like this video, I would really appreciate it if you would give it a thumbs up. Maybe share it with some of your friends. Subscribe if you haven't already. You know, all that fun stuff. So 
So once I get it on there, and I'm just gonna kind of Mod Podge everything down. Now I don't show it on video, but once the Mod Podge dries on the front, I do take one of those X-Acto knives like from the Dollar Tree and cut out the circle to like the opening of the birdhouse. I do that and I also don't show up, but I did put some Spanish moss in that at the very end. I just kind of shoved it in there. I didn't glue it or anything, but I also don't show, I don't know what happened to my footage, but where there was any hanging uh, excess scrapbook paper hanging over, I do file that down with a, a fingernail file kind of get some of the excess off and it does kind of leave some white areas so I just took my antique wax and just kind of go over it, and that also helped kind of age it and then right there at the peak of the roof on the top I did Mod Podge a piece of jute twine over there I guess that was in the footage that I lost but that just kind of finished that peak off and you'll see it in the final reveal of the little birdhouse but that's what I did and I love how it turns out just have to let me know what you think adorable I love them and of course y'all this is just how I've done them the options with these little birdhouses are endless so I hope you enjoyed this video I hope it inspires you and maybe think outside the box and look at something a little bit different and I cannot wait to get these on my little tear tray for fall I think they're gonna be so cute so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I would love it if you'd give it a thumbs up. Maybe consider hitting that little red subscribe button if you like these kind of videos. And until next time, bye y'all.